All right, it's that time once again for another Isle of Conquest, March the 12th, 2023. Looks like we got 27 people in here from the SAS crew. Cinco's in here for the raid lead. I am on my alt revoker, man, so I probably won't be much good in this match going to the mid for the taking fight. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, notification bell. Oh, yeah. It is the Ruthless Bro here in this one. They got all their people that are going to rush mid. Of course they are. We had a lot of people that were splitting off going to hangar still. They're slowly trying to catch back up down here. Obviously, the hangar is going to be real easy to get because they sent almost their entire team here. Question is, do we really need Workshop to beat the Ruthless One? Well, I guess we'll have to stay tuned and find out. I can't really do much damage here, man. I hate the Evoker class, man. The 25-yard range is just such bullshit. <laughs> if anything gets into my range, I can at least try to hit it with something, I guess. Getting some targets down. I mean, they've got more kills than us in the team fight. We have the docks as well. Don't have to worry about Glaives for a minute. This fight is still going pretty close. They're almost back to tied again. We picked up a couple. They got one. Still pretty close team fight here. They have, what, a total of five healers, looks like? Oh, heals, yeah, is on their team, so is Augie. Yeah. Got my little flyby through there. Teleport back, of course. They got their tanks overextended here. They don't have that many tanks. Looks like they only got one right now, just the blood DK. And looks like we just lost the workshop, so now it's time to see what's going to go happen here. They're going to try to come up the horde side ramp. Obviously, we want all kinds of slows and trapping them down this hill as far as we can. Take out all the ones we can. I mean, they just got destroyed in that AoE right there. <laughs> Let's try to use a Hellstone to get back up the hill. Using my Nullifying Shroud so I can't get stunned anymore or interrupted. Got a couple of them down. Powchester's off to the right there using some aim shots. Need some more pressure. Looks like they got vehicles that are coming up here, too, from the Alliance side. Or is that our vehicles? We might have Glaives coming up here. <laughs> Did they actually take some Glaives in front of the Alliance base to get up here? <laughs> that would be pretty funny if they did. We are hitting the East Gate already, 90% down so far. They're all stacked up down the hill here. We obviously have the high ground, so that's going to be probably our ace in the hole there. Yep, we did get a glaive up here. <laughs> they drove glaives all the way in front of the Alliance base and managed to survive. Talk about funny, man. <laughs> man, stupid ice wall, that little thing's not going to do much good for you guys. You stop us for, what, a whole three seconds? They're already falling back down the hill. Looks like they're going to be waiting for the siege engine next, of course. Siege engine's got about a minute and a half to pop. That will be the next thing we need to check out. Do not PvP with the Glaive. <laughs> ah, so they did bring some demos up here too. That wasn't just our Glaive that was coming up here. We got one Glaive. If we can keep it alive, it'll help get some kind of damage on the gate. Hopefully the Glaive will actually start attacking the gate though and stop melee in players. <laughs> Warrior's dead there. Each up in 35. We should have a strat. Like, freaking surround that fucker. Can we drop in on them? How many are down at mid no. right now? No, no, no. Here, here. Get our hunters to glide her down and land on top of the workshop and then fucking start hitting it up as soon as it pops. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's yep. a good idea. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm away. Good. good call on me, so. Every once in a while, I get a little wood on the ball, right? <laughs> yeah. We're still trying to hold a hanger here. Doesn't look like they got anybody coming back up here right now. Looks like there's not a lot going on with the siege over there. It's going down already. They're not sure if they got too much damage off it from the top of the workshop, but it was definitely a good call right there. The siege is so low now. They definitely got to get some people over there to heal it. They have, what, three or four priests? No, they got three priests that can heal it for sure. <laughs> the siege is down. There we go. That's what I like to see. Our gate's at 85%. Theirs is at 57 Ruthless Bro is going to go down again. You got to love that when that happens. We got somebody over here taking out our glaive, man. We have one over here. Every little bit helps, man, for sure. Even one glaive is better than zero. Now we got to take out the lock over here as well. We don't have a lot of people over here defending this because we had a lot to take out their glaives. Obviously, they were going to concentrate on protecting them more and just send a few over here. Ah, Powchester's going to get this one, man. It's too easy to one-shot a Glaive as a hunter, man. There's no way he doesn't kill it here. Yeah, 
it's definitely done. It did pretty good damage, though. It got probably about 20 or 30% for us. They sent another hunter in, too. It's already down anyway. Palchester's going to run like the bitch that he is. That's okay, too. We'll just take out his hunter friend buddy that he left to die after the turtle's gone. <laughs> yeah. He left his little buddy behind to die. Bye-bye. There you go. Bye-bye. I'll even take the killing blow with that one. <laughs> They're doing pretty good damage to the gate. We finally were able to take out the glaives. East gate's down to 2.5%. Start heading to the Alliance Keep for all in. Remember, they have the workshop, so they will probably bring some of their vehicles here to try and defend their boss. We are going to go ahead and glide her off the ship there. Fall down, glide. Now I'm going to jump down in here. Might be a minute for us to take this graveyard, too. Obviously, they knew that their gate was going down, and they sent a lot of people back to their base for sure. We might need another pass of the airship so we can actually use the airship to help clean some of this out. I'm trying to take out their vehicle over here. But the evoker is not as good as my rogue or even my hunter or the warlock for that matter. <laughs> yeah. They're bringing in a third specialization for the evoker. I'm not sure if that's going to be my cup of tea or not. Got to deal with Demo over here. Trying to glide away a little bit. Got some hits on it. Got a heal off there. Get these vehicles down. Then we should be able to take the courtyard. They're not doing any more damage to our gate. Well, now they are. It just started dropping. It wasn't 22 for a long time. I'm going to see if I can go over there and stop them, I guess. That's all I can do since I died and resurrected at the hangar. They have nobody defending the glaive. Yeah, this is perfect. I should be able to totally take it out. <laughs> they should have had at least one person over here right if they would have had one person defending this glaive man i would have been dead <laughs> uh, looks like they got two more glaives coming too so we got a ton of people in the alliance base hopefully they're about to get the graveyard now we got some help over here should be a little bit quicker now zato's over here bye bye another glaive bites the dust barrage really you're running barrage Wow, man. Talk about a hunter that doesn't have a clue. <laughs> this one here is going to run right off the cliff. <laughs> We're doing massive amounts of damage. I got a heal off, too. Go ahead. Do a little flyby action there. Got the glaive trying to melee us now. So we can kill this hunter real quick. Hunter's almost down. He got Barrage up again. <laughs> barrage doesn't really hit for that much damage. It just hits a lot of targets. Yeah, you used your hellstone there. Finish these glaives off, man. Forget the hunter. Get these glaives down. That one's dead, pretty much. Now we can finish this last one here. They're killing the boss already. They finally got into the base. Yep. Looks like they're going to have plenty of time there. No one has even taken their graveyard back in the Alliance base yet. And I am keeping this glaive distracted so they can't get our gate down as well. I probably won't even have time to finish the glaive before they finish the boss. <laughs> Rogue hops out. Nice. Go ahead and put my shroud up. Oh, he didn't kick it. That's too bad. That means I can't get stunned for a little bit here. Boss is at 12%. Did they wipe on the boss? They did. Interesting. So that was pretty good that I actually helped take those glaives out so they couldn't finish our gate. Oh, tried to cap mid there, man. I was hoping they would leave me alone. Got my little stun off there and fly by. DK's going to die here. Get him. Oh, yeah, he dies. We might have missed our window to actually cap here, though. We got a lot more coming from our base. They are beating us a little bit in the team fight because they're ahead by about 20 or 30 points, it looks like. Oh, no, their vehicles are up, too. We got to get them out of here. <laughs> Definitely had people jump straight over here on top of the vehicles. Get these demos down. We missed our window to actually cap the flag. Our gate is at 3.9%. Do they have anybody running bombs or what? You never know. Got to deal with tank over here. They only have the one tank still. Looks like they might have backfilled a couple more healers too. Interesting. Some people left and they filled with more heals. Imagine that, man. If you AFK out of a match, you can actually have more healers backfill into your team and it become a stronger team. <laughs> Imagine that, right? Oh, man. This fight is going to be ridiculous here. Looks like we got most of the vehicles down, though. Palchester's over here. Get my little flyby there. Yep, I'm on the gunship now. See if I can clear some out here. They got their vehicle over there. I can take out the vehicle for sure. 
they really want to hold workshop we'll just let them have it as long as those demos are dead they can't use them to come back here in their base we only got one left to deal with it looks like and looks like the gunship took a lot of damage off of it already yeah it's dead nice all right now we're going back here to the graveyard flag see this is what sucks about the evoker i should be able to hit the guy from up here but the range is not large enough man i'm just trying to go over here should have some range over here right Ah, you got to jump on the ledge there. Anybody close enough? Nope, out of range, out of range, out of range. See, this sucks. There, finally I was able to attack something. <laughs> Hunters will be, you know, having a field day up here, right? Pretty much any range class would be having a field day up here, except for the Evoker. Very much a trash class in my opinion, man. They definitely need to up the range for the most of their abilities, you know. Tranquility on top of the flag. I think we should be good, though, now. We get them cleared out of here now. This should be all she wrote. They're not even really trying to take our gate down now. It's still at 3.9%. They're all in defense mode right now. Yeah. Not doing much damage from up here. It doesn't really help me to be on the ground either because I would definitely be in the graveyard. <laughs> They're trying to actually attack me now. I guess they finished killing most of the people down there. Hmm. Now that they're all here, it'd probably be a good idea for someone to sneak cap the workshop. More than likely, they have nobody there. Or if they do, it's only a couple. We'll see how it goes, though. What's going to be the next call? They brought the siege here. Siege engine's almost dead anyway. Yeah, it got wrecked. <laughs> yeah, with the siege engine, you can't really bring it inside of the base, especially when the gunship's overhead. The gunship will just eat the shit out of the siege engine there. I'm not really getting any kills, so I'm just going to jump down, man. <laughs> wow, they all came from the graveyard there. I tried to do a slow and stun and root. I got one of them to go off. D wasn't enough for us to cap the graveyard, though. They have a lot of people that are hiding around the corner there just out of LOS. Smart tactic. Got to give it to them for that. We can still get them pretty good. They're all lined up right there, and I got a lot of them that are stacked up on top so you can get some good AoE damage if your class has some, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know a whole lot about the Evoker, man, but the range totally throws me off for it. I'm on top of the flag here. I'm getting eaten up. I'm hitting the wrong button there. Fat finger, to an open window button there. Back to the hangar again. Um, nothing's going on there. They got our gate down. Okay. Score is pretty close. Now we're beating them in score, so we're actually farming them in their base. They haven't actually tried to attack our boss yet, though. That's interesting. Huh. Very, very strange. Now they took the hangar. And they took a graveyard in our base. I'm going to go ahead and fall and then glide before I hit the ground. Let's go all into the boss. Get your bombs and let's go. Bring bombs for sure. Take out this mage. Mage is dead there. Let's go finish this boss now. Now's our window right here. They have all their vehicles coming from the workshop back to their base. 90% of the boss. It is a DPS race. I don't think they're actually on our boss. If they are... It hasn't actually started going down in health yet. I have the Overlord, you know, on focus. There he goes. Now they're starting to take damage off. That's their problem there. They split to go do some damage on our boss. That's going to be their downfall. We're going to be able to finish the boss here easy mode. Obviously, we started farming them. I mean, look at the score. They were ahead of us in score for a long time, and they didn't have our gate down. Well, they knocked our gate down. That evened up the gate score from losing the 50 points from the gates going down, and now we're still ahead by over 30 points. <laughs> oh, they're all coming in now. They didn't even try to go to the graveyard. They knew the boss is dead. Just finish the boss. It's only 7% here. Their little heels are not going to be doing anything because they don't have a monk here. Bye bye High Commander. Look at Viet Hunt, man. 45 and 1 at the top. And Pain Device with number 2, man. Look at those heels. Barely sober. Short Stacks and Elon Musk. May all of your random battlegrounds be epic. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. Until next time, GG for the Horde.